Hello friends, ready for more fun? Because today we're traveling to South Africa to visit Kruger National Park. Did you know there are around 147 mammal species, 114 reptiles, and over 500 bird species? More than 2,000 plants in Kruger National Park? That's right, we've already made a video about safari parks, but Kruger is something you've never seen before. If you want to learn more about Kruger National Park, don't forget to download the activity pack in the description below. You can also watch our videos about South Africa and Cape Town. Now let's continue with the adventure! Kruger National Park is one of the most popular safari destinations and the biggest national park in all of South Africa. It's around 217 miles long and 37 miles wide. Unlike other safaris where you move around in a well-protected vehicle driven by a professional, in Kruger you travel and see the wild animals from your own car! I know it sounds pretty dangerous, but as long as you follow all the security measures, you'll be fine. And speaking of animals, in Kruger National Park, we see a very famous group of animals that probably you already know, the Big Five! All of them are here, the rhinos, elephants, leopards, lions, and Cape buffaloes. Since there are over 2,000 elephants and 1,000 leopards in Kruger, you might see all the Big Five in one single day. And of course, you can find other animals here, like cheetahs, caracals, hippopotamus, zebras, giraffes, hyenas, martial eagles, vultures, and many more. But spending hours inside a car, even looking at beautiful animals, doesn't sound too appealing, does it? Don't worry, you can find 17 rest camps all around the park, and each one of them is unique and some have more facilities than others, such as camping, laundry rooms, fuel, and even swimming pools. Imagine going swimming in the middle of a, a safari park. These camps are all about an hour apart if you drive at 15 miles per hour and don't stop to see wildlife. Remember to plan ahead for any toilet or coffee breaks you may wish to take during the drive. In these camps, you can find picnic sites, shops, well equipped with souvenirs, cooking equipment, and more. And sightings boards where you can check for the latest animal sightings so you don't miss anything during your trip. Remember that if you're on the road and not in the rest camps, you must not leave your vehicle. Not only because you'll get banned from all the national parks in South Africa for life, but it can also be very, very dangerous. Don't forget that even when these animals are peaceful and already got used to people, they're still wild animals. Be careful! But what if you don't have a car? No problem, you can rent one at Shukuza. There's also a garage that can help you if you're unlucky enough to experience a breakdown in the park. By the way, keep in mind that for your own safety, motorbikes and driving off-road are not allowed in Kruger National Park. Still not convinced to drive around this park? Don't worry. There are also six walking trails where you can get close to the wildlife, but you'll need a guide if you want to see animals by foot. And just a little something about Kruger National Park. There are a lot more fun activities to do here, like golf course, mountain bike trails, bush bry, and sleepover hides. If you want to visit the park, keep in mind that it can be really hot, and for safety reasons, you can't bring your pets with you. Also, don't forget that Kruger is a malaria area, which is a disease that can be transmitted by mosquito bites in some places. To avoid mosquito bites, the best time to visit Kruger National Park is during the dry season, but it's best to speak to your doctor about it before you go. Thank you for watching, and remember, if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe. Ciao, friends!